we're now ready to change our web page from looking like a couple of colors on a screen to actually looking like a web page because it's got some content. I'm going to put my written content not in the layout CSS because that is just how I style what appears in index.html. I'm going to put my content inside the div container which is content and what content I'm going to put in is this text here. So I've already got some text that's sorted and the chunk that I want to put in initially is this bit here. I'm just going to copy that and paste it into this sheet here and I'm going to put some tags on it that are appropriate. I need to have a structure with how I organize my tags throughout the web page. How they actually look at this point isn't important. What I need is a hierarchy of tags where I've got my main tag is h1 is the header at the top of the page and then as I move through my subheadings are going to be referenced with a particular tag. At this point here all I've written in is briefly about me is an h2 tag. I've got paragraph tags for the first paragraph and the second paragraph here is just separated into a second paragraph. There is no style, no color, no direction. It'll come out as basic as possible. When we look in the web page at our index, we're starting to get this information that's coming out. This doesn't look very good at the moment, and I know it doesn't look very good at the moment, but that doesn't matter. What's important is for us to get our structure set up, and then later on, we'll go through and try stylizing it, and we'll only stylize it through the layout.css. Okay, so you can see that the next things that we're going to need to do in here is we're need, going to need to have an h1 tag that tells this bit up here how to look and we're going to need an h2 tag that tells this bit how to look and if we want to we can even have paragraph tags that tell the paragraphs how to set up. Okay, I want to now keep putting content into my page. The next bit is going to stay in the content and it's going to go under this briefly about me but it's going to have its own subheading so we can safely assume that the next heading down is going to be an H2 heading because it's the same sort of subheading. What sort of content do I want to put in? I'm going to go back to my notepad where I've got my text already typed and what I'm going to put in from here is the vital statistics and I'm going to go down to this bit here. So I'm going to put in vital statistics he was born June 8th, his sex, his marital status, and his occupation. That sounds like a list. So when I put this into the web page, I want to make it look like a list. So I will go over here and paste that in. And I've already turned it into the list. And I'm just going to explain quickly how that was done. I said before that vital statistics would be a subheading, the same subheading as above. So it's going to have the same heading tags. And then it's an unordered list. I don't want it to come up with numbers. I just want it to come up with bullet points. So it's an unordered list, UL. The tag opens here. The first list item, LI, is born June 8th, 1955. And then I end that list item. I create my next list item, end my list item. Next list item, end the list item. Next list item, end the list item and then I'm ending that unordered list. Let's save that, go to our page where we are now, F5 to refresh it, and I've got my next things in. I've got my subheading 1, subheading 2, and my unordered list now features on the page. I want to put another subheading in that goes through and explains the experience that Tim Berners-Lee has had. I'm going to go down until I've got a bit of space on my page and then I'm going to go and work out what I'm going to put in next. When I go to the raw text, here's the experience information, where he went to university, what he achieved at university, uh, the other courses he's done, and some of the things that he's done. I could put this in as a table, it could be an unordered, oh, sorry, I could put this in as a list, it could be an unordered list or an ordered list, but I'm going to put this one in as a table. So I'm going to paste the information in and 
right here is where our next line starts under experience. Experience has the same subheading as the other ones do above. Starts with H2, ends with backslash H2. I want to put this information into a table, so I create a table tag. As soon as I put a table tag in, I need to specify the rows that I want in. I'm going to put the table row so that I can explain what the table rows are. I've got to put in the table heights that are going to go into each one. So this is not table height, sorry, the table headings. So TH is the table headings. I've got th classes that I've added on to the end of each of these table headings. So if I look at this in a little bit more detail, when you click on it, again this is the power of Notepad++, when I click on this area here it highlights this tag only. And what it says is the table heading is going to be year at college. It's going to say year and then it ends the table heading. So all that's going to appear in my table is the word year but I have said I want you to call this heading year call. So I've said in the table create a class so that I can say how this year is going to appear on the actual finished website. It looks quite confusing. Hopefully it won't be too bad. The table heading is year and that's the end of it. This table heading will show up as institution and end. This table heading will show up as qualifications and end. The only difference between these three things is I've separated them so I can style them individually later on. I've said this year column is going to be known by the class year call this institution column is going to be named instcall as its class name and this heading is going to be called qualcall for the qualifications heading. As soon as I do that I can finish that first table row. So the first table row is finished. I'm going to go down to my second table row and I'm going to put the table data in. 1972 and that data. The next one is Emanuel School in Wadsworth end that data. The next data is O levels and A levels, end that. End the table row. Create a new table row. Put the data in, Queen's College Oxford Physics, end the data row. Table row. Create a new table row, 1980 CERN built the Enquire system, end that row. Another table row, data goes in, end the table row. Another table row, the data each data starts and finishes with the open brackets and then the open brackets black backslash end bracket. At the end I want to end that table row and then I need to make sure I end the whole table and if I move up towards the top I should see the corresponding spot where I open the table and there it is there. So in that huge chunk which looks like a lot of work it's not really. All I've done is I've put a table in I've put headings for my table, I've separated them so I can style them individually, and then I've put new rows in, and in each row I've filled information into the row. Let's save that and see what this actually looks like on our page. Back to my website, F5 to refresh, and I've created my table here. The year column, the institution column, and the qualifications column. It looks pretty awful at the moment and that will be resolved in our style sheet later on. Instead of me spending a long time adding some information in, trying to change it to get it f to fit, I've put all the information in, I've called this heading here, year call, inst call, and qual call so that we can see how the separate columns are. When I go to stylize it, when I stylize this column it will fix everything in it and make it look exactly the way I want to.